Hello and welcome to another video from I am Biomed. This is Aditya Ikaude and today I'll be talking about the basics of ultrasound imaging. Diagnostic ultrasound is applied for obtaining images of almost entire range of internal organs in the abdomen like kidney, liver, pancreas, major blood vessels and fetus during the pregnancy. The ultrasonic diagnostic has made it possible the detection of cysts, tumors, cancer in these organs. Ultrasound is simply sound waves. They are associated with frequencies above the audible range and generally extend upward 20 kHz. Thus the ultrasound refers to sound waves with frequency that is too high for human beings to hear. The diagnostic ultrasound is in the range of 1 to 20 MHz. The ultrasonic waves exhibit same physical properties as that of the audible sound waves but they are favored because the ultrasonic waves can be easily focused that is they are directional and beams can be obtained with little spreading. With high frequency ultrasonic waves it is possible to investigate the properties of very small structures. For medical ultrasonic diagnostic applications, longitudinal mode of wave propagation is used as they can be propagated in all mediums. Transducer or probe. A transducer converts one form of energy into another. Ultrasonic transducers convert an electric energy into ultrasonic energy. Transducer is both a transmitter and a receiver, but it cannot send and receive at the same time. Before we discuss a little more about the transducer, let's see an important property called as the piezoelectric effect. The consider a material and when a charge is applied to it, it compresses and decompresses that is the application of the electric field produces a change in the physical dimension. Such materials are called as the piezoelectric materials and the effect is called as the piezoelectric effect. The image shows the internal components of an ultrasonic transducer. The most important component here is a piezoelectric crystal. The ultrasound is generated by piezoelectric crystal which vibrates when compressed and decompressed by an alternating current applied across the crystal. Imaging by ultrasound. Ultrasound imaging is performed by emitting a pulse which is partly reflected from a boundary between the two tissues and partly transmitted. The different structures will reflect different amount of energy, thus the reflected signals from different depth will have different amplitude. Let P be the ultrasonic probe, A, B and C be the reflecting structures. The reflecting structures does not reflect the ultrasonic pulse directly back to the transmitter, but it scatters and hence they are called as scatterers. The ultrasonic pulse is transmitted by the probe P which is received by scatterer A. A part of the pulse energy is reflected back by the scatterer A and a part is transmitted further which is received by the scatterer B. At B similarly, part of the pulse energy is reflected back to the transducer and part is transmitted further which is now received by the scatterer C. At C, since some of the pulse is attenuated because it has been absorbed at A and B, the pulse is now only reflected back to the probe. So when the pulse returns to P, the reflected pulse gives information of two measurements, the amplitude of the reflected signal and the time it takes to return, which is dependent on the distance from the probe. The illustration shows how the ultrasound works. The system consists of a transducer which has a piezoelectric crystal, an organ to be imaged and a monitor. The transducer has a piezoelectric crystal that is when the electricity is applied to it the crystal shakes and ultrasound is emitted from the crystal. The sound waves then travel into the body. The waves are then reflected back to the probe and the crystals shake again, transducing the acoustic energy back to an electric energy and then the machine plots the image on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website www.iambiomed.com and also like us on Facebook.
Thank you.